All right, our great little cordless headset. Uh, nice little system. You got a couple really handy things right off the block. This is your manual. You're going to want to read through that. I like this too, a little uh, quick start guide. It was very helpful just to get it rolling. All right, here's what you're going to find. For starters, you got your main, uh, what they call receiver. You've got your antennas that look like this. There's two of them. Oh, here it is. You got your second one. You got your antennas. You got a whole bunch of other stuff that looks a lot like that. Starters, you're going to screw the antennas into the back. Once you got your antennas in, I don't know, just raise them up. Typical antennas. Grab your power source, which looks like this. Now, again, I don't know how yours is going to come packaged. I just kind of repackaged it after giving a little test run here. You got your, cord your cordless handheld mic. You've got your uh, cordless uh, headset uh, transmitter. These are called transmitters, the cordless handheld and the cordless headset one. And I love it. They've got two separate um, types of headset. You've got your sort of lapel mic as well as your headset. And we'll get rid of this so you can see them better. You've also got a couple uh, uh, just connector cables that come with as well as some batteries. Now the batteries that come with most of these types of consoles are junk. I've already replaced them with some Kirkland batteries, but you'll need uh, at least four double A's. Guys, get a lot of double A batteries. You're gonna wanna replace them uh, pretty often, every couple weeks. You also have a little, um, little tool, little screwdriver looking tool, which we'll talk about in a minute. Start with your power source. Like anything, you're just going to plug the power into the power, and then uh, you'll see in the back there's only one spot where it can go. So you're going to plug it. We'll start with the uh, the headset. Yeah, just take either the headset or the lapel mic. You'll see it has the same exact jack on both of them. They're going to get plugged into the uh, transmitter on the, the, the headset transmitter or the lapel transmitter. Same exact thing. Either one's going to plug right in there. Easiest way to connect your receiver to your PA system is to use what we call a, a quarter inch quarter inch cable. That's what a quarter inch looks like. Just plug it into one of the inputs. Let's put it on two. We'll put it on, uh, this is line two. So we'll put it in line two. And you're just gonna take the back side of it and you're just gonna plug it into the only spot it can go on in the back here. Sorry, a little bit of a shadow there. If you think of the circuit, you've got your receiver plugged into your PA system. This will amplify whatever's here and amplify it and play it through the speakers. You'll also have a uh, an eighth inch jack as well, double sided eighth inch. That'll be, you probably won't ever need these, but I don't know, you might. It's mainly for like musicians if you have like a guitar input and things like that. You'll read about it in the manual there. Okay, at the, uh, the face of your receiver, you'll see the little on switch here. You put it down to the bottom and it'll be the DC, which means the plug. And you're gonna see this fancy thing here pop up. One feature I really like about it is it, it has a ton of different frequency options, which may not be a big deal, but if you're out and about enough, you're gonna find you're gonna run into different frequency problems. If you go to, um, your little, you'll see little little buttons here on the side. You scroll it up, and I know it's blurry, but you'll see it when you, when you got yours. You go to search, and if you click the little select button in the middle, it types no, make it to yes then click it again what it's doing now it'll, it'll walk you through it it's searching for the best channel it's got 99 channels it runs through all possible 99 channels uh twice and then it's going to decide what is your best channel clearly my best channel is six three two four seven i don't even know what that means okay but basically it's telling me what is the best channel in this room right now to have the cleanest sound okay i've set the search and it'll probably be fine from the minute you take it out of the box but now you know how to do that Obviously, we're going to need to put batteries into our, uh, we'll start with our cordless headset uh, transmitter. So you're just going to pop this open and put two AA batteries in. Again, the batteries that usually come with these types of things are pretty junky, so get, get those upgraded like now. Okay, pop that closed. Once you do that, you'll see the little power button on top. Hold that down for a second. And if you can see it, the green light popped on right there. You're good to go. Now let's do some adjustments. Now, among other things on the front of this, you've got two volume adjustments here for your different channels, uh, different different channels for the cordless set. So you make sure that those are, just put them maybe in the you know quarter way up as a good starting point. You can always turn it up. Now you just go to your main system. I'm on channel two. So I'm just gonna kinda keep the tone at the middle. 
I'm going to turn the main volume up to about, or the, the channel volume to maybe a quarter way. I'll keep the master sort of mid midway and let's see what we got here. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Sounds good. Now you just adjust the volume. I would try to, I would probably instinctively kind of leave this. I don't know, maybe leave these, maybe not all the way up, maybe almost halfway up, maybe on both sides. That's probably a good starting point. And now you can just play with uh, these volumes here. So if you crank it way up, you can get some feedback if you really try. So you just put it maybe at the middle and just make your adjustments and you, my friend, are good to go. Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. And obviously, if you prefer, you can swap out uh, the headset thing that looks like this. Swap out the headset with the lapel mic if you prefer. I kind of like the lapel mic. Just obviously, you just clip this to your to your collar. Um, okay, let's move on to the handheld. Super easy. You're just going to take the handheld and you're just going to unscrew the bottom part here. Once you've unscrewed it, this part will just pop off pretty easily right there. And this is where the batteries go. And again, get yourself some decent batteries. You're just gonna pop the batteries right in here. Once you got your batteries in, you're just gonna screw this back in here like this. Screw this on like, you know, typical. Kind of blurry, but if you see that little sink thing up there, if you take this little uh, button here, you can kind of just go around. It'll have all your different options here. Go to sync. If you hit the little button in the middle, which is select, this is goes up and down, up and down. This is the select button. You select that, then go to yes, hit yes. It's searching for it. Take your mic and uh, put it near this console and it finds the mic. So it's gonna sync the mic up. Again, it's all very clear in the instructions. It's giving you a head start. You'll want to sync up your cordless headset transmitter. You'll see the red dot on the back. You'll just take the red dot and kind of align it near the, uh, near the uh, receiver and do the same sync process uh, that we did for the handheld. One thing I've noticed is that it appears the receiver can only use either the cordless headset or the cordless handheld at one time. You can't run them both at the same time. So I would recommend maybe doing your cordless headset or lapel, same thing. Do that and then maybe just get a corded mic and plug that into your system on a separate channel so you will have two separate mics. Lastly, there's a little screwdriver thingy. Uh, right here at the end here, this is a master volume. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of blurry, but you can turn uh, up and down the master volume with this little guy. I would just put it maybe, maybe you know, midway or something like that. But this is your master control over your receiver, your cordless receiver, in the same way that your master controller uh, functions for your main PA system. Best advice when it comes to all this uh, technology, which may be new to some of you, is do rehearsals constantly at your home. Do it a bunch of times. Get really familiar with how to sync up your mic, sync up your, uh, your cordless headset. Practice it a number of times. You never know when you're going to need it when you're out there at the school. And for what it's worth, I kind of like this, uh, the case it comes in as a nice permanent case. Um, it's got all the compartments already set up for you. So you can put that in there and uh, closes. Got a little handle on it as well. Kind of handy.